Alright, so it's Oreo Man 666 and today I'm going to show you how to make a gun game quick and easy. So first, you, uh, you can place your floors, whatever. If you want to make a quick one, get two buildings and then we're going to place the buildings. So I'll t there we go. Oh, they updated building. But what you guys want to see is how to set it up. So you go to devices. You want the, where is it? Team settings and inventory. You want two of those. Well, you're going to want multiple, but I'm going to show you how to do this for two people. And I will tell you how to do it for others too. So we're going to place them. So you want to set the first one to Team 1. Let's go over here. Team 1. Grant items on respawn. Keep that as no. Um, first item, and then uh, I like to go with infinite ammo. You can turn building off. Alright, so that's that. And then you set that one to team two. Set the check something. Have this set to channel 2 and this one to channel 1. So when enemy eliminated by the team member, transmit. This one will be channel 1. So that one's team 1, channel 1, team 2, channel 2. And you put a third one, that would be the third player, team 3, channel 3. So now you want to find your first gun so start off with a handgun we'll put the suppressed pistol in now you just drop it and it's that easy so that's the first gun now in order to get the other guns you need to go where is it Spawner, no, there we go. Item Granter. I'll put that in square. They really change us. Alright, so we're gonna place that. The first gun you place in this will be the last gun. So if you're doing up to 20 guns, the first gun you place in this is gonna be 20. The second gun you place in is gonna be this your second gun after this one. It's weird, I don't understand it, so I'm going to just go at random here. So place them in the order you want them. So this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one. So that will be your first gun, and the first gun I placed in this will be your last gun. So. Receiving players, team one, on grant action, clear inventory. Uh, yeah, clear, clear resources, clear inventory. Yeah, grant condition, grant, current item, um, 
grant on cycle. Yes, equip granted item. We'll have it equipped. Uh, cycle behavior, have it on wrap. So wrap, current item will loop around if you move past to the end. And might as well do it that way. Um, grant item and receiving from channel one. So now this is for that. Now we're doing two players. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna place it here. Now we're gonna change it. So the settings we have here, we're gonna change to channel two, two. And now team two, the other player, will have the same amount of guns, same guns, everything. Now you need to go to your island settings, voice chat, put to all, keep it on free for all. Um, spawn limit, infinity, total rounds one. You could change that if you really want. Uh, time limit, we'll go with 20 minutes. Wind condition, um, we'll score eliminations to end. We'll set that, if we're doing 20 guns, set it to 20. Um, score to end. 20. Or wait. Yeah, so set that to 20. Now you're gonna have to place spawn pads. Keep them at random, don't put a team number on it. This way you can spawn all over. Allow out of bounds, no. Elimination score, one. So each time you kill somebody, you get one point. If there's gonna be 20 guns, you wanna keep it to one. This way it's one point for each gun. Now, settings, you can change the time of day, your start, you can put fog, stuff like that. Um, timer, let's see, HUD info. Score. And change your victory sounds, but that's that. That's how you make a quick, well, as quick as you can make it because you guys gotta put floors and buildings down but that's how you make a quick gun game like and subscribe if this video helped you and have a great day